Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Emmy and I am a rising freshman at Princeton University. On my channel, I make videos about college application advice, high school tips, my life at Princeton, lifestyle, things like that. So in my stats video, um, and in my previous video where I described how I talked about activities on the common application, I talked about this Java programming class that I'd started in my junior year, and I got comments asking me, like, how did I start it? Or like, how can I pull off an initiative of my own? So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be talking about some tips on starting your own initiative during high school and also just walking you guys through how I started Brain Power, which is the programming class. Through your own initiative like that, you can fill a gap that you see in your own community. So for me, that was girls in CS and STEM. And it's a great way to contribute to your community and show how you can change the world in the future. So the first step to starting your own initiative is to, you know, get the idea. So every initiative has a purpose that motivates it. Some examples can be like a sewing club if you're really interested in sewing and you don't have a group of people to share your um, enthusiasm with. Or, you know, I know people who've started um, debate camps for younger children, raise money through various like 5k races, whatever cause that you're very passionate about and you want to you know contribute to, that should be the focus of your initiative. Second of all, you need to start brainstorming and planning about what your initiative is going to do. So if you're starting a club at your school, then that will probably look like weekly meetings, um, fundraising events, maybe uh, guest speakers or lectures. So the things that you want to get down are when your initiative is going to meet, so location, time, and also you need to choose a scale. So if you want that to be within your school, your community, or nationally if you're doing some online uh, things or like through social media and another thing you want to consider is if your initiative will need funding All right for school clubs the procedure is pretty simple um, to start your own club Basically the general process at most schools is you find an adult a teacher to sponsor your club And then you apply to form the club at your school and then you can promote your club through social media and school announcements and get people to join. Use word of mouth, get your friends to join. So things will be pretty smooth sailing once you're officially registered with the school and get people to join the club. For community initiatives, that's where you don't really have a lot of support from like your school and you have to do things a bit more on your own. So I recommend utilizing personal contacts, school principals, uh, county officials, and then for like an even bigger scope, like nationally, don't be afraid to code email people and ask for help and support. You actually might be surprised by how many people are willing to help you um, for a worthy cause. So after you brainstorm and have a general idea of what you want to do and how you're going to do it, you should start making a timeline. So I think the hardest part of starting an initiative is getting it off the ground, like turning your ideas into actions and making it a reality. Every big project is composed of a bunch of smaller tasks. Make sure that you're making progress every week, every month, and that way you can actually put ideas into action. And that is the fourth step, like start sending out your emails advertise, post on your social media accounts. And from there, you can really watch your initiative grow and see your hard work pay off. Okay, so if you're still um, kind of confused, don't really have an idea of how exactly you should approach starting an initiative, I'm now gonna talk about like a case study, which is how I started the Java programming class. So this can give you an idea for exactly how I did it and exactly what steps you can take if you want to start a similar um, like local initiative of your own. Okay, so I took the same steps in the same order as I just talked about. First was choosing a purpose. For me, as I mentioned earlier, that was girls in computer science. So I personally never took computer science classes in middle school except on my own online. So I thought it was really important that we had some kind of 
education to fill up that gap for middle school aged girls and that was what I saw was missing in my community accessible CS education so I tried to fill that gap and provide it for some of the local girls so the second step I took was brainstorming like how did I want to structure this initiative so I considered things like hackathons um, like competitions and classes and then I realized that a class is the most effective way to teach kids personally and make sure that they learn all the necessary skills. So the next thing I decided was date and time and location of our meetings. So I decided that every Thursday we would meet at a local public library so that way I didn't have to spend money on finding a location. Fortunately my local public library has a bunch of like big study rooms that I could reserve online like a week beforehand and it had enough room to hold like eight people, eight to ten people. Um, so that was exactly the size perfect for um, my class. So I think the third factor I decided was scale. So I decided that I wanted my class to be countywide. I didn't want to make it too big because I wanted to teach kids like face to face and have in person meetings. So keeping it to a kind of um, regional, local area would be the best for me. And then for funding, I didn't need any. So I got the idea to start this class the summer before my junior year. And I don't think I'm naturally a very proactive person, so it took me like a few months like after first thinking of it to actually like put it in action. As I mentioned earlier, the hardest part is getting started, but if you want to like successfully pull off an initiative like this, then you can't be afraid to put yourself out there and fully dedicate yourself to what you're doing. So for the fourth step, which is putting your ideas into action, I first started by emailing middle school principals in my county to ask them to spread the word to their students. So I had a Google form that kept track of registrations. I made an email account to answer questions from parents mostly because they're middle school girls. I was mainly corresponding with their parents. And then I also made sure to respond to their feedback. So depending on the location of the girls, um, I chose a public library that was closer to um, most of them. All right, so after that, like I had participants. So the next step was basically making sure I had good content for the class. So I wrote lesson plans and from my own experience learning Java in high school, I planned out like the order of the concepts, like what order they should be taught in and then how I can make it both interesting and accessible for the students. So the first lesson was basically what is computer science and I started with like Boolean operators and binary um, the binary number system. So I'll put in a screenshot here of like a part of that worksheet for the very first class. I tried to use like fonts and colors to make it um, to keep it interesting for the girls. After each lesson, I sent follow-up emails to all the students and their parents, basically summarizing what we did in the class that week. And then I attached like some links to interesting articles or videos about computer science. And another thing I did was at the very beginning and at the end of the class, I gave all of my students a survey asking them about their perceptions of women in STEM. So the visible change that they had like between the first class and last class were really inspiring to me. They rated their confidence in working in STEM in the future and it went from like a 3 or 4 to like a 8 or 9 so that made me really happy and proud and it was actually just a lot of fun like talking to the girls and getting to know them week after week. Okay so that's basically a detailed um, story of how I started my initiative, my Java programming class. So if you guys want to start something like a club, a class, a nonprofit, whatever, then best of luck and hopefully these tips can help you. So obviously the steps will vary a lot depending on what kind of initiative you're starting. So if you guys have any questions, like feel free to ask me in the comments or shoot me an email. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.